for you tonight, I'd like to introduce... Let's try something else.
uh, there's uh, another mode that you can use if you want to with uh, some hype from Veer there if you want to so there is more hype there if you want to use that so ladies and gentlemen we have boa versus ju crazy good game we saw how good boa has been in the bsl uh, no spoilers there but really really good uh, uh, game to start us off with uh, and then we have zoom versus whip going to be awesome as well oh uh, sorry is here and then we have DeWalt versus Dragon and uh, crazy crazy good uh, uh, game that as well uh, Dragon and uh, let's say this I've, I've talked about this a lot but at Good Friday the, di the day that Christ died we are going to have a game it will go to be uh, Crossy versus Dragon and we're going to have, have Diggity and Doc Holiday to comment that so that will be crazy good ladies and gentlemen and that will be good friday at 22 30 set so uh, a little bit later stream for you european people but if you are from america maybe that's good and then we will have p tech versus hawk so crazy crazy good games as you can see here and uh, with uh, maybe no further ado let's uh, get into it ladies and gentlemen and uh, yeah maybe we should just uh, start the cast here now so uh, let's get into game number one ladies and gentlemen boa versus uh, jayun and the map will be revolver so every game will start with revolver here uh, horrible map but people seem to like it i don't know so let's go game number one ladies and gentlemen boa versus jayun Let's uh, see what we got here. Two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. We have in the uh, top right hand position, we have Boa playing Protoss versus Ju playing also Protoss. He's sometimes been Zerg, but now he's going all in Protoss here. So, yeah. Let's uh, go for that, then, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see here if there's going to be any shenanigans. Okay, it's no proxies or anything, anyway, so let's see. For me, Bo has actually grown a bit. A while ago, I remember when, when Boa had big problems in his game sense, and he, he lost a lot of games, but now it's, it feels like he's uh, grown and becoming better and better. Okay, we have uh, from JU, uh, Gateway, no, exp uh, no um, Scout, and we have Gateway with Scout from Boa. And let's see, we have gas from both of them so it won't be any two gate shenanigans here they are both just uh, going single gateway opening here still no uh, no scouting here for our yellow Protoss playing for Nat so this is the semi-finals and uh, the winners here will play the winners of IRK and Ash. So the other semi-finals is IRK and Ash. And the winner will play them here. So. Uh, the group stage was won by CVT. Okay, we have a uh, Sealot out for Boa. Sealot out from uh, Jayuni. So very very similar strat. You can see that Boa seemed a little bit more efficient with his builds. Okay. 
Okay, it's not going for the... Oh, they actually, he made Palma a bit later, so he is uh, not been able to start his gold productions yet. Let's see what will come here now. Will there be speed or will there be robotics? Maybe Citadel? Oh, he's got the money, but he's not building anything. Let's see. Okay, it's a robotic facility right away here. And it's a Citadel of Dune here for Jayun. So let's see what Jayun wants to do here. It looks like it's going to be a DT drop quite fast here. So that's very interesting. The fast DT, oh, maybe not a drop. But let's see what will come here from Boa. Uh, it looks like Boa is going uh, quite fast here for robotics. It's not, oh, it's still no speed, so he's really going for it quite fast. And uh, yeah, maybe this will be a reaver follow up then. Okay, we already have the Templar archives coming down from Boa. Let's see if this is straight shuttle. Yes, shuttle, shuttle reaver, and let's. This building is enormously important. Here. Okay, shuttle reaver observatorium, uh, and sometimes you go shuttle reaver observer, or sometimes you go shuttle observer reaver. So let's hope for his sake that the observer will come fast here still no freaking range okay we have the pylon outside but no extra gate yet uh, so it will be one DT sneaking out here and we have an observer before the next reaver and we also have speed and still no range though so still no range because this is a gas heavy freaking build that we see here with very very fast observer and very very fast reaver but we see a nexus coming down this is a little bit on the clock but he needs to get damage done with this DT maybe but I don't think he will though reaver starting still no second gate from none of them and we have some cannons coming up here and we have the we have the DT coming out here and this is really good for him that the observer is uh, going across the map instead of attacking so he will get in and let's see how much damage it will be let's see the reaction of Boa here will Boa notice the, the glitch here on the screen no he won't so it's getting straight in and uh, we still doesn't, don't have any observer and the observer is way down here and now we can see the observer turning one kill, two kill, three kill, four, five, six kills already, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen kills and this is game damage big time and let's see what will happen with this uh, fine drop here. It's very important that this drop makes some hurt. Oh, what a great five kills. Thank you for the follow for Sarah. Oh, look at the the, the reaver here and he comes out of it. Actually, he comes out of it a little better than uh, Boa. But he, got, he already have the extra base here. We have speed. Yeah, sorry, not speed. We have range coming in here. And I think this will be just a push here from our lovely Boa. And let's see. I think we should have uh, some storms already. So this is a very important hold here. If we see that uh, Boa can hold this. Uh, because he's having the expansion. And now let's see the first reaver coming in here. Okay, no storm. One storm. And we have uh, more storms here, but he needs to hold. Great storm, but the reaver is crazy dangerous. 
And let's see, the second storm is not there, it doesn't have the energy, so it might be the beginning of the end for him. One more uh, storm is done now. So he's have the energy for one more. But it's very healthy uh, count of reavers here, and it's not healthy count of probes for Ju. So Ju really started well, but had tremendous problems after a bit there, and now he's losing his nexus. And we we see that it's very stable here for Boa going up to uh, more and more probes. <sighs> Great scarab shots. Now we actually have two storms from our lovely Protoss player. Okay, he's going straight in. There's a cat on that, but he's ignoring it, looked like. Oh, he can't lose that. Oh, that was close. He had three health left. If that has had been a, a shot, that could have changed the game. Okay, now we see him getting out there. Let's see some storms, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, storming the river there. Oh, and the next storm is not hidden in the river. And everything is just died here for, for JU. So this game will be GG and it will be all over already. So quite a fast, fast game. Oh, look at that hit. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's 1-0 for Boa. Boa, as I said, he's grown so much and uh, we know that he uh, was uh, here in the round of eight in BSL. So really, really good play here from Boa. And uh, yeah, CVT Fee is of course very, very happy uh, for that win by Boa. So, taking the lead here in game number one, and let's see what the follow-up map will be here from uh, Ju. Maybe he can come back and uh, put some points in the table here for Nas. It's very important that they uh, do that. It will be essential here, ladies and gentlemen. Drinking from I'm, I'm drinking for a from a jar here, so it's a little bit different. I'm not I used to drink from a glass, but this jar just it, it looks so good, I believe. So right now I'm drinking for from a jar. For me, like when I do that, it, it feels like a little more rust rustique if you can if you can see the point of it. Like it, I don't know what I'm saying here, but. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, a little bit like like I'm drinking honey or something. Uh, of course I'm not, but yeah, a little bit like that. Unleash is here. It's it's crazy. Uh, you can. You, I, I was in a, a lawn this uh, weekend, so uh, I, I want to show some pictures from that. I will just uh, show you guys that I want to. Stockholm this weekend with a lot of Swedish friends. I've never seen them before, but they were lovely, lovely people. So I'm going to to send you a little bit of uh, pictures from that. Uh, okay, so we had some. We have Team IRK, Team MG, Team Rev, and so on. But I have um, the whole people here. And uh, so let's save image here, and I'm going to show you. Uh, two sec, ladies and gentlemen, I will, I will show you what a lovely picture I have. Oh, and maybe it's not. Uh, maybe you can't do that. No, you can't. Sorry, I can't get the picture in. I don't know how to do that. I thought you could just take a great picture and, and get it straight in, but you can't. <sighs> Sorry. 
So I can't show you. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's uh, play instead then. Oh, maybe I, I can do like this, of course. Two sec, ladies and gentlemen. Of course I can show you the picture. Just do this. And here we go. Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we done here. And uh, lovely players here, as you can see. So, yeah, this was fun. Um, really great uh, set of guys. As you, you can see. And you see the guy in the middle here. Uh, we have... Bit, uh, I, I am standing like the third row back. From from the left hand position. Yeah, I guess be, besides me. And Ruskig is on my uh, left. So we have Ruskig. And then we have Clone Pro uh, in the middle there. So very, very nice people here. Clone Pro, Flissaro, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's take this down now. And let's uh, get back to next game, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for that delay. And let's uh, go for some ascension now, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Oh, hi there, Elmer Catspawn. Oh, one of my subs coming in here. Fantastic. Oh, where the fuck is the pony? Yeah, let's get the pony, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see here. There we have the pony, ladies and gentlemen. You can see it in the back there. So, there you have the pony. But we also have some games going. We have 12 o'clock position. We have uh, Jeyu. And we have uh, at the 5. No, sorry, 7 o'clock position. Boa leading 1 0 here. And of course, the pony is uh, back here, cheaper turn. Uh, there will be no casting without the pony. Yeah, so the pony is here supporting this, the cast. The pony is, uh, as we can see here, we have Cat's Pawn being a one month subscriber. You can see that on his uh, mineral, they are growing though. Okay, we have gas from both of these pairs. Let's see from Boa. Boa made. Uh, second uh, pylon into uh, one sea lot into carrier and so on. So let's see now what happens. No sea lot, no sea lot. Cybernetic score, cybernetic score. So it's a little bit different style. Yeah. So this is game number two for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we have the sea lot and the sea lot, of course. This is the, the new thing that every Protoss wants to go for sea lots. Uh, and I can understand why. Sometimes you want it because of the uh, double gateway build. Sometimes you want it uh, to kill uh, mana pilots a little bit faster and so on and so forth. Mana pilots is a bit to kill with the uh, goons. Okay, we have uh, one goon, one goon. Oh, look at this! This is a fake! This is a fake, ladies and gentlemen. He's faking that he's going range. And this is range. But this is a fake range. So he will go for some shenanigans after killing the probe. So he will kill the probe as fast as possible and then go for shenanigans. And now, let's see here, he will cancel it as soon as possible. Now he's, he sees that the probe is gone. And he should console it, of course. I'm not sure why he's not doing Yeah, there we see the console. 
and we'll see the next is coming down and let's see what okay let's see what's going for double gateway really really interesting play here okay it will be a three gate looks like yeah three gate so some brainy play as we can see here from Jay Yoon maybe he can snatch a game of Boa for me though it's quite hard uh, to get a lot of damage done in, in it's to, sorry not to get damage done to, to get an expand like this on on this map because of you have this place you have the high ground attacking possibilities so you can put so much shit in here and if you take this high ground you have this high ground uh, to attack so the ascension is a, a tricksy map ladies and gentlemen there are a lot of ways that you can attack it and be be um, strong Okay, but the gateway is up, and we can also see the army count is quite alright for Ju. And it's not really speedy reaver, so he is not thinking. I think the the fake here was really really good, so it means that he will get everything up, and he is going for. Yeah, look at this. He's going for slow reaver in the base. He's not going for like reaver into shuttle and so on and so forth so he will actually be a little bit behind here and of course he can attack but it's not going to be a fast attack so he can't really punish this and let's see if we can just see a fourth gateway coming out or if we are going to see a robot it looks like a robotics here it's way for 200 200 okay right now it looks like the the macro from Jayun is not really on point. It's not like it's bad, but we can see he's not lining everything up. But he's uh, getting some more mineral income, uh, a little bit more than what we see from Boa. And look at this from Boa. He, he thinks that it will be maybe some type of pressure build, but it's no pressure whatsoever from Jayun because this is a three gate build and let's see maybe he will put a fourth down soon if he just now uh, makes probes makes goons he has a uh, really great advantage we can actually see a second reaver before the next shuttle so this is crazy crazy hard for our from our player here now Boa is taking his own expand so this is going so freakishly easy, I'm punished here. But now he will scout it with the observer and he will see that it's been running for ages. You, he will click on the minerals to see that this has been mining forever. And I'm still a little bit shocked that the uh, supply count isn't higher for Jay, but it's still he's, he's in uh, 10 supply lead. Now we have the first shuttle. Will he try to do go for some type of timing or will he just try to, to grow here? We, we have four gateways now from Jay. -Yun. So he's growing bigger and bigger. And we will see more. Yeah, here we see the fifth gate. We will see the sixth gate as well. I believe so. I believe so. Now we have Sid's out. So he will start to get more and more units in there. Now I'm taking out the eggs for a little bit better ability to move. But look at this. He is cutting so many probes here. Boa. Boa's going for some type of timing with the reaver and here's what I talked about the big high ground advantage on this map he needs to snipe he wants to snipe the observer let's see what he wants to do okay he's going for the shuttle he's taking it straight away killing 
Oh, killing one Reaver looks like, but look at the possibilities of the high ground here. This is why I'm not liking the strategy, uh, really. And now we're pulling some probes. Jayun is still having a bunch of units and he's having the, the, uh, the defender advantage. He lost the two Reavers a little bit uh, easily here, so maybe he can hold. He, he needs to macro like crazy. Oh, he's doubling macro instead of using all his gate. So a little bit of a mistake, but I, I believe he's doing it because he's so stressed. If he holds here, he will be in a fantastic position in the late stages of the game here. So let's see what we got. Okay, he's still just uh, getting more and more units out here. Okay, now hits hold. He didn't lose that many. And we see some uh, macro coming out of Jayuni. We have one Reaver with shuttle. The high ground is so good in these situations. Now he's coming with the with one more attack here and we see the reaver let's see if he wants to poke the reaver straight away okay he's taking the shuttle out but now there is a big attack coming in from boa once again okay he needs to split it needs to sp oh what a great scare shot and now he's very low on the dude once again will he be able to hold here boa is actually having the supply advantage and that's no good when we see the pro count for jayun and i think jayun is fucked here Oh, and Jayun missed micring a little bit once again here. And now we actually see that Boa is just uh, manhandling his opponent here. Very, very good. Yeah, GG, ladies and gentlemen. I really thought that he would be able to, to hold this this time. But now we can actually see Boa's going to probe up again. Getting into 5 gate. Killing the expansion. There's not anything going here for our uh, orange Protoss. And Diving BB, big thanks for tuning in here. Welcome. to uh, I lost to diving BB okay maybe this is a little sneaky attack here with the sea lock and I think he will clean it up so good and now maybe he's got a little bit of a window here to do some damage okay we have a reaver though let's see okay he's actually Drop the reaver a little bit out. Okay, double reaver here. And now, let's see. Yeah, very good micro with the reaver. The sea lots are not really doing a great job against the reaver. Okay, he's actually missed micro a little bit here. I think the turn rate might be pretty good though. But the problem, he's already taken the third and so on and so forth. So, we, and, and this is something that I've seen a lot. He's double macroing instead of, uh, double macroing instead of macroing from all the gates. And, and that's a little bit of a mistake from him to, to Q instead of uh, smashing. Okay, we have five goons here, and that's not really enough, but now we have the Reaver coming in on the low ground though. No. Oh, he needs to split it a little bit, but now a lot of shit going down here. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Ju loses to Boa 2-0. So, very well played from our player from CVT. So, CVT is actually doing a great, great job here. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the score sheet. And now we have Zoom versus Whip. And I must give that to Whip a little bit. I think that Whip is crazy, crazy good player. 
Um, so let's go for our next game here. But uh, yeah, if if I look at the possibilities here, what I see is that the wolf versus dragon. I must give that a bit to the wolf because he's super good right now. Uh, so then uh, dragon might lose, but I think it could be very even. I give it to whip though. And then I give the uh, Peter versus Hawk. It's like a 50 50. So for me, it's like if we consider the possibilities here that Boa and the Wolf takes their games, Hawk and Whip need to take their games to get it to, to the 2 on 2, or else it will be quite hard. For instance, if Whip loses here, I think it's all over. If uh, Hawk loses, it be, it's going to be all over and so on and so forth. So I really think they need to to do a great job here. But the one big problem as well is the, the fucking map here. That someone thought it was a good idea in the semi-finals to start with Revolu uh, to start with Revolver. So it's a little bit unfair to all the Zerg players because we know that it's horrible, horrible. To, to play that okay ladies and gentlemen let's have a one and a half minute break here uh, because uh, of the something called pre-rolls and so on and I just need a, a short little break here so one and a half minute break uh, and uh, I will see you soon here ladies and gentlemen so one and a half minute of a break okay <laughs> okay, we have uh, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're not getting beer coins for that. Yeah, what do you need beer coins for, Dava Divine Broadwall? For me, it's like I have so many beer coins. I can do whatever I want. With my beer coins. With my reek face okay yeah but I have a lot of emotes with my face on it there we go okay ladies and gentlemen let's uh, go for the next game here <laughs> Yeah, some of them, man. <laughs> Just hit that sub button and you will get them all. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in the top right hand position whip and in the bottom left hand position zoom and zooms going for the standard uh, scouting here because of how this map is pinned out it's a little bit it's not like all the other maps so he's going for that and uh, yeah let's see what uh, he will try to do his zoom. No, no shenanigans with any proxy, no 8 racks or anything like that.
let's see the scouting pattern. Okay, we have Zoom going for 12 hatch, looks like. Yeah. Late scout. And here we go. And uh, scouting comes in. No extra drone. So it's going to be 12, 11, 10, looks like. What? Yeah, here we go. 12, 11, 10, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, these will hit around 6 o'clock. And we have double scout from Whip, actually. So Whip really wants to know what's going on. And we have a second supply, so it's not going to be a very speedy uh, CC. Here we have the uh, Marine coming in. And we have an SCV scouting the main. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm fine, man. How are you? Welcome to the stream, man. Big welcome. Okay, we have a CC. Oh, look at this. This is greedy. It's engineering bay. It's gas. Only one marine here. So it's really, really greedy play here from our Terran player. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, we have plus one coming in here. Oh, so only three Marines in the open here. He's really playing like a greedy person because his scouting is so perfect. We see the spire coming down here. Extra gas and now we see the uh, drone hitting out to uh, hitting out to uh, take uh, an expansion. Okay, I think he will expand down there maybe. Okay, now we have the bunker coming in here. third barracks fourth barracks so four barracks plus one and the scan comes in here perfect to see the timing see there's no shenanigans going on okay he's not making the uh, expansion I'm not sure what what he's waiting for Born in the USA, I was born in the USA, I was born in the USA. Okay, and we actually let, yeah, now we see the missile turret comes in. And the turrets are really, really well timed. Okay, he scan upper left hand position, and we already have the turrets up. Uh, 
Okay, very good uh, sniping here from uh, Zoom. Okay, Zoom's on, on seven uh, Muta here. And Team Think Quick TTV. Welcome, Oxed. Okay, so seven Mutas will one shot. This is great, but look at the SV count compared to the. Uh, To the other count here and now he needs to pick units off this big clump of units the plus one units and he can't lose shit when it's going so unpunished what he did in the beginning it's it can be quite hard Oh look at this big sh pile of shit coming in here for Sir. Oh, he tried to volley it but it didn't work. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's uh, 10 mutas. He really needs to pick up some great units here. Okay, picking up uh, one medic. Let's see. Okay, picking up a bunch more. So actually, great. Oh, that was a miss there. Oh, picking up more and more units. Really needs to keep this going, but he can't. Where is the reinforcements? Oh, he's actually not making more units than this. So this looks actually like Zoom is in big, big problem. He's losing third. And he's taking a new third, but that is not what you want to do in this uh, place of the game. And it's on 22 drones. That it's so small amount of, of units. And now we, we see the perfect play here for him. And look at this uh, marine medic ball coming out here. Yeah. Oh, it's catching the mutas all the time. Okay, one more muta, so we are up to eight, but they are so low. Oh, look at this now. Maybe he can do something. Oh, he did not attack. Oh, there we see the attack comes. Great hold position, lurker. So that was something to get back. Maybe now he needs to get over the map, try to get damage done or something. What do we see here? We see five barracks, like a cross here. Okay, now we took out all of the army. Now we're there, he needs a drone up. Okay, it's actually going out again with the small little army. Hitting an overload supply button. Here. And we have uh, some vessels coming in here. Okay, a little misclick here to get two on, on one Stargate. Second engineering bay coming down a bit late, but we have the plus two started. Okay, let's see. Now he's coming up from above. Where is the rest of the? Okay, actually, if he can pick up all this, it's good. And here we go. Some great. Oh, but maybe he's... Oh shit! He's just losing unit of the unit of the unit! Oh no, what a big mistake! Oh, what body block and shit that was. GG, ladies and gentlemen, GG. <laughs> yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for saying that I'm hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be natural though. GG. What a great game from Whip there. He he Yeah, that's some sometimes how my games look like when I play.
Oh, thank you. Yeah, let's stand up and show. Whoa! Yeah. Here we go. And we have the little mascot in the background as well. <laughs> of course it didn't help, man. But I'm, I'm getting in shape. I'm training a lot. So I'm, I'm training at a gym a lot here now. So I think that I will get in shape soon. Okay. Uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into game number two. Okay, we have in the bottom right on the most boring map of all, Polypoy, it's Whipnass, and he is playing against the former Rev person, Zoom, Zoom, it's called by some Judas, but we are not calling him that in common tongue, we are just calling him Zoom. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fair map, and it's fucking boring, but it's fair. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying it's boring map. Ba 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 boring map. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I I saw that there is uh, some uh, great games on Trovo at the same time. So if you want to to see some uh, crazy games. You can actually go to look at this. Uh, I'm just going to send you a link here. So there is a bombastic game if you want to go check that out. Okay, let's uh, see here. We have a full wall, it looks like it's going to be from Whip. <laughs> oh, it's the same build from Zoom here. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a fantastic clip. But the problem was that it was taken away. Because uh, I think the big problem... Yeah, maybe it was due to the copyright music. Yeah. It might have been not because of the copyright music. It might have been because of my beauty looks. So we're not sure. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, why do you think my wife stays with me? <laughs> yeah. They call me baby legs, you know. what we have here we have factory so it looks like delayed uh, mech here from uh, whip so will this be delayed mech ma uh, delayed or will it be 111 or what will this be here 
Oh, losing the SCV? <clears throat> Okay, he's going out with one more SCV here. Still only one factory. Okay, Academy, so it will not be the... It will be Marine Medics, but let's see. Maybe it will be some... Yeah, I don't know what. Okay, it's... Uh, Starport. Will there be Valkyries? What, what is this? Maybe just speed vessel. It depends on the follow up. Okay, it's Valkyrie build. So this is Marine Medic Valkyrie. Oh, good, good scouting here. He will have the timing on every fucking thing here. So really, really good timing. No pressures whatsoever here. And zoom taking the top. Uh, left hand position at the same time okay we see and we have engineering bait coming out okay now he's going up to top left here very very good and we will have the uh, six mules coming in here the, the big problem is that the Valkyrie won't be be done, so it might be a little bit hard for our Terran plate to hold this. He needs to get something up, but of course the turret timing is fantastic, as what we saw last game. And Whip is really clutching all these timings here. I think we will have some uh, turret and some uh, one Valkyrie before the attack comes. And because he has no idea what happening here, zoom because of the wall he won't have any scourge <sighs> okay it's into the shot line and now the Valkyrie is done ladies and gentlemen but is this enough is this enough units it's it's really a low economy build here so very interesting with the Valkyrie and here we see the shots coming out, spraying those muta like they were, I don't know, a car with your hose there. Just trying to clean it, but this is cleaning up the dirty mutas. Two belt now a third coming in. Okay, now we see, okay, we actually see the splitting here. And we already have uh, some uh, hydro come. Oh, he's, he's moving out already. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Valkyries is not being played that much anymore because Queen just figured it out. Okay, we have uh, three Valkyries. He's not making any more. Oh, very, very good. Okay, we have a bunch of units coming in here from this side. You can always make me not swear by, by paying a little bit of uh, beer coins. Oh, let's see here. Oh, this is not a good engage from either of them. Okay, it wasn't good for Zoom. He lost everything here. Okay, I, I really think this is freakishly hard right now for him. 
Okay, now we see some. Uh, okay, this is some tech switch. I don't know what this is. Here we have a drop coming in though. Where is it? Okay, it's here. And I think he is crazy, crazy dead. Oh, did that scourge? They got in it and killed the Valkyrie. And it was like, oh my gosh. And he really did not want that. But now, oh, that was a good follow up though. So only three Marines coming in here. And now the Marines are really trying to get some drones. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Every drone loss is really bad for our Zerg uh, player. He's so low on Echo. Okay, we have some attacking upstairs as well. Killing up, killing off some units. We have a bunch of marine medics coming in there. Okay, he didn't get the overlord there, but let's see the follow-up. Okay, the follow-up is mass vulture, ladies and gentlemen, and even more factories. So this is a tech switch. Uh, of course, we all love the tech switch, the, the old style play. Uh, we saw that so many times in ASL the first two seasons where they went to uh, Marine Medics in the early stage of the game and then made the tech switch. So yeah, that, that was lovely. Okay, this is good. You should also put an Overlord over here. That's uh, some shit that I've done. I really like to do that. Have three Lurkers with an Overlord over. So, so what you need to do is you need to... To get in, you need to first irradiate the Overlord, then irradiate the first Lurker, and then maybe a second one to get in. Okay, now we have some Lurkers coming in here, just uh, not doing a lot of damage. But we, we see the map control being taken here from our Terran player. Uh, we see some more factories coming in here. They are built really bad. <laughs> This is like, you need one, two, if, if you go down here, you need like two squares to do it. And uh, as a Terran you need, you want to be able to hit like uh, F2 and to get there with your F2. If I like put F2 here, bam, you can hit that and then you need to go down and hit and then you need to go down to hit that. That's not how you want to, to have your macro. You want to have them in, in one area so that you can... Uh, build them all this the, the problem here for uh, our Terran is that it's really really good to have them stacked if you go up against vessels but if you go up against uh, uh, vultures you want to spread them you don't want to have them stuck like this okay ladies and gentlemen I'm just uh, putting a link down there for you if you oh he's just spreading them in and now he's walking by with the uh, vultures. And uh, as I say, uh, the link that I hit there is if you want to watch some um, great BSL games instead of watching this. So it's a crazy BSL uh, tour going on. bunch of mutants coming in here and there is now coming Moliath okay so it was a bit of a mutant switch here because he realized that it was mass vulture uh, tank, but of course you can just switch to some Goliaths. Now we will see double upgrade coming in here. I'm not really sure what the heck you guys are talking about, but uh, but yeah, I'm. S oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe you, you thought that it was bad on me to 
a commercial for BSL, but... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a good attack from Terran here. What a good mind. And now he can actually just move in here with all the Vulture because there are no freaking lurkers there. And let's see. Oh, he's just moving in and killing everything. And now he's down to 24 S uh, workers to get 81. <laughs> 81 freaking SCVs on this game, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that too much? It's like, yeah, 81 is like uh, having a Ferrari and buying a Porsche as well. And now he is going for Guardians, but the Valkyries just obliterates them. Why the heck are you going for Guardians when, when you are playing against Mac? Okay, it's a big, big army right now. Look at the supply count. Oh, and, and now, oh, look at these mutas. They have plus one, but of course they, they like, insta-die against uh, this type of Goliath. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not enough mines to, to kill that, but it's 29, uh, 85 now. Yeah, he's not buying only one Ferrari. He's buying, like, two Ferraris of Porsche. Porsche, Porsche. Okay, now we actually have some queens out as well. So he can uh, take a little bit of the army down. I love queens. I think we should have more queens. Yep. When we... I, I talked to you about that we were in this LAN together. A lot of Swedish people. And we actually played some team melee, you know, where you control the same team, so we had one Zerg team, wait, okay, big attack coming in here, it's not that much, oh, look at that, the queens are just dying here, The Hermum comes in as well. Yeah, one of my subs. Welcome, GG, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and this is what Unleash said. We got him before... We got him in his prime and then he left. Okay, so what I was telling... <laughs> we played uh, in the... When, when we played the LAN in Stockholm, we actually played like four... Uh, per, four Zergs, uh, controlling one, one uh, team and... Uh, Four Terrans and four uh, and four uh, Protoss, and we had a little tournament. Uh, so it was me. Uh, let's see, it was Sergling, Nagrim. Yeah, okay. I, I don't remember everyone that was in the same team, but it was so fun, you know. So in one game we played against Mac, and uh, we had four people. So I was Macroing. And we have one controlling like all the Hydras, one controlling all the Queens, and one controlling um, all the Mutas. So it was so fun. <sighs> if I should make a small little freaking list of the, the Swedish player, I think that Oyaji is number one. Then we have Kamaserg, Nagrim, both really high. Uh, ranked uh, and I think maybe now Grim is better but he's been inactive for a bit and uh, so those three players are really good um, I, I think that we have uh, also uh, what the fuck is his name two sec ladies and gentlemen uh, yeah we have Whistler as well uh, he lives in Sweden now so I'm not really sure how we count that and Whistler is all in here as well so we have Whistler and we also have, uh, let's see here, Favorite. Uh, Favorite lives in Sweden now, and uh, uh, yeah, he's married to 
to uh, a Serg player, uh, uh, Serg girl, uh, her name. So I think maybe favorite is one of the top ones as well. So we have, uh, yeah. Let's see who who one else. Yeah, I think those are are the best ones. Uh, maybe I missed someone now, but yeah. Uh, they are some s rank players anyway. I don't, I'm not sure that Whistler is s rank. maybe it's just A-ranked. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the score right now is 1-1 uh, here. So Nas took that game. And as I said, that was very important. Yeah, Vody is very good as well, but Vody has a, a little bit of a problem. And the problem was that he loved one thing. He loved Valkyries. And he wanted to make Valkyries in every single game. And he did not like to make... Uh, he, he did not like to make uh, other stuff that he needed. So he was a Valkyrie man. And that sometimes fucked him up. Okay, let's see here. I'm just fixing a, a small bunch of things here. So we will get into the game that a lot of people have been waiting for. And it, of course, Dewalt. And it will be Dewalt against uh, Dragon and uh, I think this is a very important game here. Uh, yeah Dragon is a great player and can I say something about Dragon then people we will have a show match we will have a show match with Dragon he will play Crossy and uh, yeah so it will be Cross versus Dragon. Uh, the 15th of April. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that shit on your calendars, ladies and gentlemen, because that is going to be crazy good. It's a best of nine. It's freakingly good. So don't think about doing anything else on that date. Uh, if you want to, you can go for the race war at first, and then you just hit that. You, We want to see all of you here. We want 150 freaking viewers. If I have a kid, yeah, I have three kids. They are called Esther, Jill, <sighs> Esther, Jill, and Junior. So three kids, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I got. Okay, let's get into game number one. Uh, game number three for this day, but game number one of this series. It will be the Walt versus Dragon. No, no, it's not Julia, it's, she is called Junior, so Esther, nine years old, and Jill, seven years old, and Junior, two years old. I know it's loud, but I can't do anything again. Uh, I can't fix that, and I want to wake you up a little bit. Yeah, Junior, sorry. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's not a common name. None of my girls' names are common. They're really, really not common names. 
whatsoever. Oh, Cold Warka is here as well, and he woke up. That's fantastic. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, if you want to, you can hit that follow button. We only have one more follower today, so we're at 673. So 27 more, and we can get up to 700. So hit that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we have the wall not making a gateway. Maybe he will go for Nexus first. Oh, this is a Nexus first build, right? Yes, it is. <sighs> Crazy DeWalt. Let's see what will happen. Will he get punished for it? Or will this work out? Oh, sorry about that, Gorgian. Is it that high? I don't know how high it is. For me, it doesn't sound a, a bit, but I realize that it's a bit <laughs> loud for you guys. We are going to change it. The thing was, I had another one, but then a person uh, on Discord told me that he got uh, he got epileptic shit because of it. And every stream he needs to just uh, minimize the screen every time I change scenes and stuff because he can get a, a, a seizure. So I changed. Yeah. Sorry, Gorgian. Maybe she should not be asleep when uh, when the wolf plays dragon. She wants to look, you know. Okay, let's see what he wants to do here now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I like that you think so. Okay, he's killing the probe. Oh, sending out one more probe, though. June is a... Junior is a biblical name. You can read about Junior in uh, Romans. So, I if you hit... Um, the chapter in the Bible. Let's uh, have some Bible reading here now. While we... See him uh, losing this here, Dragon, looks like. He's going to have big, big problems. So, if we hit Romans 16, I believe it is. Okay, he's going for Gateway Robotics. And let's uh, go for some nice English Bible here. Yeah, this is Gateway Robo. Oh, look at this! This is great by the Walt. Yeah, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hit Romans now. So this is the letter to the Romans, and we read from. Uh, yeah, let's read from verse six. Great Mary, who has worked hard for you, great Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners. They are well known to the apostles, and they were they were in Christ before me. There you go, there you have uh, Jesus. Okay, now I think that he is tremendously dead here, Dragon. Oh, he's sneaking one sealer as well in there. Okay. 
okay. Shield battery, but look at this. This is so good. The Walt, my man, is... Oh! Let's see how many he will get. Catching none so far. Okay, actually, some great positioning here. Now we have the Reaver, the, the first one. Oh shit! No, 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 what was that? No, yeah, what was, yeah, what was that dragon? Oh, don't play like that in the uh, next game. Okay, so now the sound will come again if no one wants to wake their little child. So, 1-0 for... One oh <laughs> for the Walt. Yeah, that wasn't the best. <laughs> okay, but the thing is that I have new graphics coming in. I really do. <laughs> Diving baby, I have new graphics coming in. Uh, I talked to a guy from Argentina and uh, we are trying uh... oh how do you how do you decrease that volume then please tell me i don't know how to do it <laughs> uh i don't know where where to lower transition volumes Let's see. Yeah, I don't know where. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the next game here. It will be Dragon vs. DeWalt, and uh, we will, of course, switch map here. And it will be Ascension next time. Okay, so let's uh, get into game number two and let's see if Dragon can do something great right here. In the top 12 o'clock position, we have a Dragon in green. And in uh, the right hand position, we have DeWalt or DeWalt. Who? <laughs> have one tearing game and I think that is all over now oh it was fantastic it was fantastic I, I, the lawn was amazing we had so much fun and it was a great place that we were. We were on a place called, let's see, Inferno. I think it was called Inferno. And uh, it was lovely because uh, we could uh, drink on the computers. There was actually a little app on the computer so you could order beer. And they just moved in with the beer to your computer. So that was nice. So you could have drinks and stuff. So Nangrim won the uh, tournament, and, and uh, they uh, and he got a white brush. Yeah. Oh, Dante wasn't there. 
Oh, we played we played a lot of Broad War. Oh, there was actually a game on Bloodbath. Uh, me and uh, let's see who it was. Me and Clone Pro against Fazu and someone. And uh, it was on Bloodbath, and they were Terran Protoss, and we were double Terran, and we made six SEVs. And we just SAV rushed him. Yeah. Okay, we have a uh, range coming in here from Dewalt. We have no range from Dragon. Oh, there we have the range coming. Yeah, it was Nagrim slaughtered him, but I played so bad all day, uh, I didn't feel well and I don't know, but after a while I got a little bit drunk and then it was fun. But the most fun thing was not playing one on one actually, the most fun thing was play in, uh, was to play um, Team Melee, four players in every team. That was amazing. I love Team Melee. I want to have a tournament with Team Melee. We first we won the round robin versus Terran and Protoss, and then we lost the finals against Terran. But it was it's so just so fun to go for Team Melee. But maybe four players is a bit much. I think three players is is uh, great though. But it was fun though. You can do so much with it. Okay, look at the ult here. Trying to be aggressive. I like the... We are, we are going to have one more. Okay, this is not good for Dragon. No, no, Dragon, what are you doing? Oh my god, why are you out so much? Oh, this is good now, though. Yeah, he cut so many. No, he's just cutting probes. He made uh, three gate very fast. Yeah. Deal toss is here as well. Welcome everyone. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have one more lawn in uh, Stockholm uh, at four. So it will be lovely. At the same place, we're going to have big screen and stuff that uh, in that day go to drink oh look at this though dragon has so much if he attacks now I think it's all over we have the reaver coming in here but oh dragon can't wait anymore he needs to go 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 okay he will kill that probe let's see oh dragon what are you waiting for what are you waiting for okay now he's getting in there Oh, really good uh, pull there. And we actually have a bunch of units coming in. Oh, but he needs to get in with all of these units here. Dragon to make this count. Oh, I love the Walt. How is mac uh, microing everything here? The Walt is a beast, you know. The Walt is just is just an amazing player. An amazing, amazing player. He's not bad. He's the greatest one. Let's see if he can win the BSL this season. Oh my little dragon, you can't do this. Oh maybe he can. He's actually pulling ahead now.
We have a Reaver though, with some Scarabs. And I think he will hold it, but the Pro Cow is actually growing here. Yeah, it's time for you to become a mod here. There you go. Now you're a moderator, Eskia. Welcome to the team. <laughs> oh shit, now a lot of people want to be moderators. Okay, he's actually catching up. Hey. Okay, I like how Dragon's playing this now. Mollet was actually a really nice dude. IRL. Yeah. I like Mullet IRL, but he's not the nicest when we play on ladder. <laughs> he hates my style, he says that my timings is weird and everything. Okay, the dragon is actually a, a bit ahead now. We have uh, three gates against three gates. Reavers coming in from both of these players now. But there are no shuttle for for the wolf so let's see he can actually oh no 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 you could not be that ballsy oh no But why didn't Dragon use his high ground advantage there to snipe those Reavers? I think he could. And now Dragon is actually a bit ahead in uh, unit count, but it's still looking very good for the Wolf. And I think the Wolf is in a better position. Four gateways to three gate. Okay, now two more gates coming in here. Shuttle, bunch of goons here. Yeah, Mollet was a nice dude. They were all nice, actually. I think maybe Nagrim was a little bit... Uh, he was very correct. Very correct person. Didn't stand out that much. Maybe Aggie was the... the... Oh, those scarab shots. Oh, he can't lose that. So close. Okay, he's let his... Uh, his weavers a little bit by themselves. Let's see what Dragon can do. But now Dragon is not. Oh no, no, he picked it up when he died. Poor person here. But Dragon is actually having a little bit of a lead here. Let's see what they are doing here. They're just pumping shit. And Dragon is just pumping and pumping and pumping. So yeah, I think this was great though from Dragon in the end.
Okay, so the wall is a little behind on... Uh, ...on probes, but we see six gate actually. And now, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Uh, what song do you want me to sing then? Oh, I don't know those songs that you are recommending me now. think so <clears throat> hi Barbie hi Ken want to go for a ride show sure can jump in I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world like in plastic it's fantastic you can brush my hair undress me everywhere imagination Life is your creation. Come on, Bobby, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Like in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Yeah, something like that. Oh, really good here. Let's see. He picks them up. Well, micro from the old but I'm not sure why Dragon is not using his shuttle. He needs to use his shuttle here. Okay, he's losing everything now. Oh, that song is, is not for my voice, I believe. I need to have uh, longer tunes. I just don't understand why Dragon didn't use his shuttles there. Why didn't he use the shuttle? Okay, so the wall taking 2-0 against Dragon. I did not think that was going to happen uh, like that. I thought he was about to win, but not like that. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to get some... I need to get some... Uh, uh, a little bit of a uh, bandage for my finger. So I'll be back soon. I just need a, a little, uh, I don't know what you call it. In Swedish it's called plåster. So uh, I'm, I'm going back, I'm coming back real soon. Let's have a short break and I go pee. And I will just put a, a little shit. I don't know if you can see it here in the cam. No, it's too bad. But my finger is fucked. Yeah, maybe you can see here. There are two, uh, there are a nail coming up. You can see here, it's like no nail on there. So it's, uh, yeah, so I'm coming back soon. Let's go for one and a half minute of an ad break and I, maybe I can pee and I can do some stuff as well. Please follow my channel, ladies and gentlemen. One new follower and uh, that's not enough. I want to have a little bit more followers because we're soon at 700. So let's go for a short break and I will be back.
I got back almost in time. Yeah. Okay, so I have this small little thing here that I'm going to put on my little finger. So I I just peed. And now I'm going to do this with the wrapper here. So let's go here. Here we go with it. Bam. Okay. And let's put the band-aid on. And here we go. There we go, the first one is done. Now the second is coming on here. Oh, this looks fantastic. It's like a small little thing. I have like an extra skin that I use to, to fix this. Oh, now it's sitting okay. So let's take one more because it's good to have a, a second one on it as well. I noticed that before they are a little bit hard to micro these things that I put on they are not really micro come not really good for microing and here we go yeah look at this I think I got it yeah <laughs> So here we go, yeah it was some nail issues that I got, now you can see it looks pretty, it's not looking pretty, it's looking like a fucking disease but I'm not sure if you can see this, maybe, yeah there you go, if we, we can light it, we can light up a little bit, and there you go, you can see my nail here. Yep. Okay, that's ridiculous why I'm talking about nails here. We have Hawk versus p -Tac, and that's what I should talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that better to talk about Hawk versus uh, p -Tac, isn't it? I think so. That will be a great game. Pa -pa -pa -pa. P-Tech in the house. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. I, I can count down to when it starts. I'm going to switch it. I promise you guys. I'm going to switch uh, that. Um, that. It's not going to be forever. It's now though, but it's not going to be forever. Uh, because. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be forever, I can just say that. <clears throat> I think this song is more my style. Every night in my dreams I see you, I feel you That is how I know you Go on Far across the distance And spaces between us you have come to show you go on near far wherever you are i believe that the heart does go on once more you open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on and on yeah that is better i believe it's not good though but it's so much better than uh, the other thing that i sang 
<laughs> okay, let's get into the next game. And now hold your ears, ladies and gentlemen, because here comes the transition in three, two, one, go! Oh shit, I let's do it again. I just had cut there. So here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. I know that we have great followers. Evie. Evie Camiso. <laughs> Evie Camiso followed after hearing me sing. We all know that there is a true, true follower, then. He will never leave this. You know, every time I sing, this happens this time as well. Just, I'm just going to tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I sing, I lose around 8 to 10 viewers. So I do it for the, the real fans, you know. Because I sing, and I get from 51 to 33 viewers. So I really do it uh, for, for you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I made that transition myself. Okay, we have from Hawk here. Okay, let's go. We have a nine pool here with a gas trick from uh, PTAC. And we have a 12 pool here from Hawk. Athernum. I made that myself. Oh, what is this? What is this? From PTAC. This is so crazy from PTAC. Oh, but we saw him do this another time. But why is he scouting with the drone? The drone scout is so costly. Yeah, yeah, I will fix it, Athernum. I will fix it. We, the transition will be gone. Let's see here, Hawk has the ramp advantage. <laughs> oh, great, uh, great uh, start here from Hawk. And if Hawk wins this, it's going to be 2-2 and it's going to be the decider. Okay, now they all come back when I stop seeing this. Now we are 51 viewers once again. They were just not wanting me to sing. Okay, we have... Okay, this is some uh, crazy build here from uh, PTAC. So, yeah, I really try to read up on builds and stuff on CVC, so I know a lot of CVC stuff. But when PTAC plays like this, it, it's very hard to understand it, really. Okay, so we have a creep colony coming in here, so I think that might be a sunken, right? Yeah, so he's going for a sunken. There's a lot of links coming in here, but the high ground thing is a thing here. Oh, really bad migraine from P-Tech. coming in here oh I not read oh why is Hawk adding so many links I think Hawk can just drone up if he wants to now we see Peter droning up going to 14 I think this will be some type of uh, muta build okay now we see the drones coming in here from Hawk and Hawk is realizing what this is so he is just going to drone like crazy here 
And I like this, of course. Because now Pigtick doesn't know what he wants to do, so. And Gorgin, Pigtick needs entire. Not Hawk. Okay, so more and more drones coming in here. No, this is not an all in, all in build. This is a. Uh, this is an economic build that he wants to go for. He will make so so many drones, and he will make a lot of defense, and he will get maybe. Uh, yeah, he will get some upgrades, and he will not go for mass link. He's just linging to not die against Hawk, but he will just make more and more units. Uh, you can see him droning up. He wants to have a big big economy and he wants to try to sneak a third the problem is it's really hard to get a third on this base sometimes but what he wants to go for I believe is lurker maybe going to quick defiler uh, we should see a upgrade coming in here maybe carry pace upgrade let's see okay now he's getting out what you want to have is uh, enough links to be able to um, Hit stuff if Hulk tried to take take a third, and now you see him just making a small amount of of uh, mutas to catch the overloads here, delaying all the timings and stuff. Okay, it, now it actually looks like he's trying to get maybe muta. Let's see. Okay, so 300 advantage in that gas. And uh, a little bit better for P taking that gas, but still a lot like 200 better for for Hawk. And now it looks like P is going for his own s spire. Let's see if there's a spire. Yeah, here we see the spire. But Hawk should be able to just uh, mass mute out him. <laughs> Uh, the problem in and when when you have this is it's really hard to counter uh, because what happens is that if you move out with your mutas he can hit you with the links because you don't have a spore and you can't hit him with your mutas so some people like this ah uh, I don't really get it I like more of the Avi love style then where you go into four hatch uh, mass Hydra, but he's not going for it. Okay, he's going for plus one. So sometimes what you see is P Tech will be uh, able to hit stuff around the, the map. And we see him, uh, he will be able to mass produce both Lings and Muta here from his uh, three hatch. But now you see Hawk gaining more and more Mutas. He should actually have four drones over here, so this is uh, a better position that we see from PTAC. And if you look at the the count here, you can see it's going to grow more and more because this is uh, more inefficient. So actually, it's a, a really good uh, gas situation here. But we have an extra gas uh, from Hawke. And now we see uh, him mass muting, but the problem is that Hawk will have more. Hawk will have more. And now we see, look at the county, it's growing more and more and more. It was 100 before, now it's even more. So uh, this is a, a lot better gas because it's uh, right above you. Okay, now we see Hive coming in. So that means we could see uh, devour devourers or devourers, or we can see defiler. Yeah, the problem is the the uh, queen's nesty. It's really hard. 
Yeah, I think that he's in a better spot. I totally agree, but this is what's scary. The hype. Okay, Hawk is actually taking a fourth base. That's mm, that might be a little overextension. He doesn't need it. I think he should keep two to three to not thin himself out. Because he's already on a timer a little bit here. P Tech. Okay. Two more creep colonies and now we see him moving up with his links and they will soon be uh, plus one links uh, that was Jadong versus what's okay yeah that wasn't Jadong versus Jello then I thought it was yellow, it was a jade on where there were defilers or, and stuff everywhere. Okay, now we see big links coming in. Yeah, this is what, what's uh, been at stake here. You can see him really getting out with stuff all the time okay hawk is going to win this game it looks like but we have the great aspire coming in we have plus one links in and what can hawk do against this great aspire he can't really attack because okay it's only four spores actually maybe he can engage that shit he's not having the plus two he should actually wait for plus two before he engages but, oh, he can't really do this. It's too many. Oh, no, 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 no. You can, you can attack and go back. Yeah, he doesn't want to engage totally. And now this is what happens so many times. Because he can't really counter him. And that's why I said don't go for the fourth base. And the, the thing is I, I don't really understand how he will engage the devourers here. The plus one cracklings are amazing. Look how how clean he's moving those uh, Judas like they are one beautiful. And now let's see more links coming in here. I and l look how fast they kill stuff. The cracklings. But this is the the real issue. I'm not really sure how he wants to. Okay, he's he's just making mutas, but maybe he will have enough. But the, that's not the thing here. Oh, look at the devourers here. We have four only though think maybe he needs more but we have plus two uh, for uh, Hawk and Hawk is not making any attempt of doing some other stuff okay now he knows what's going on and let's see if he wants to scourge up and try to snipe them or something oh big attack coming in here is so out of position here Hawk no 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 look at Hawk his his position is so out of it now he's coming in once again. Everything's looking bad for P Tag. Oh, sorry, for. For Hope. And now Hope is just going straight in there. He needs to split them better. And it looks like still he's winning the fight because he's having so many. Oh, Hope's doing a great job here winning this fight the acid spores are he was having a oh look at that sniping at the same time yeah it's taking out the expansions and look how slow and bad these are right now with all these acid spores on them more devourers coming in Hook is in a great position though. And now we see P Tex taking a third, sporing it up. 
to play against a person that does what Pete is doing is like you want to rip your everything out and you want to scream at him at that he's uh, an idiot that is what you dream of when you play a player like this because it's so hard to do anything against it <laughs> And why is he not making his own hive? So many devourers coming in now. Yeah, this is like the most boring shit ever to watch. And because the spores everywhere. Oh, he can't move in, he can't move in. And you can't really move it like that. Go back, man. Go back, man. Go back. Oh, I'm so afraid of it. And now more mirrors is coming. Maybe it's enough. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Oh, they are not dying before. No, look at this. Oh, this is over. Oh, no, no, no. The sports are not dying. Are they? Look how slow they, they attack the force. Okay, but I like the splitting up now. Now the split is amazing. But now we have the big cracklings coming out. But now he's actually made some sunkens. Okay, he's taking it out now. Oh, now we have the big crackling attack coming in. Taking a bunch of needles back. Okay, he's cleaned that up, and that was an amazing position. We have 27 drones, and now these needles come in, and they will wreak havoc here because they are not on acid spores. But slowly but surely, the acid spores are are being taken away, so he can actually go back and attack once again. I think P Tech is slowly but surely dying here. Yeah, look at these units, and we don't have any devourers now, so now we can actually just kill him. Okay, defilers are coming in here, but he doesn't have the echo to do it. And now look at this, amazing! And he's trying to get the devourers, but it's too late. Too late to apologize. And now he should not move in now, he should not move in, he should just take a third and try to get shit up again. Oh, an extra hatchery, I'm not sure about that, I know why he wants to do it, because of the economy build, but... You guys swear too much, I don't know why you are swearing so much, it's not hard, it's like... Yeah, it's not hard. You should just uh, not have foul language like that. Okay, I don't know why the fuck P Tech is still in the game here. Yeah, you should go clean your mouth with some soap, man. Okay, p -Tech is really trying to to stay in the game here, but he's dead. And he's have this Defiler mount, but he's not making Defilers. Defilers is the only thing that can save him, I believe, but even with Defilers, I, I just think that it's too much. Okay, are you from America, Lexington? No. Okay, look at those cracklings, but the units come in. And actually, uh, to be honest, Hawk is actually doing exactly what he should here. The, the big problem about the Hawk is not doing what he should. Them all. 
and the cracklings are not doing a great job anymore here okay but the third is coming up once again for PTAC oh ladies and gentlemen okay can I just speed this up a little bit sorry because this is too boring I'm sorry that I'm doing this but isn't this too boring I think so it will take forever so let's speed this up a little bit we have two two upgrades for Hawk he's trying to take a fourth Oh, I never used that word. Oh, big attack coming in here. And we have the bowers. Oh, big, big attack coming in here. And now he's up 14 rows. But I never used that word. just uh, moving shotting them up why is p-tech still in the game man he doesn't have any minerals come on p-tech be manner <sighs> seriously gg ladies and gentlemen that was a shitty game Yeah, and now Nas can actually come back here. If uh, Hawk wins the next one, he can actually be still in it there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the next game. And sorry about saying it was a shitty game, but it actually was. Nothing happened. So let's go for Ascension now, ladies and gentlemen. And if Hawk wins, we are going to a, f a decider on 2 on 2. So let's see here what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so into the game we go. 3, 2, 1, 0. Here we go. I'm getting every person a chance to uh, take the volume off a little bit okay we have in the 12 o'clock position in the green we have p-tac uh, and he's uh, lost the first game and we have in the bottom right hand position we have hawk sc and let's see now if it can be a little more exciting game not like what we saw with the spores 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 and uh, cracklings What are we waiting for? Okay, he's actually doing a great job mining. Speedtech. <laughs> we have an overlord, we have an overlord. So both doing the same, but look at PTAC. He's really doing great mining here. Yeah, that was really great. Okay, let's see what they want to do. No over pool. We have uh, 11. And you can see that PTEX mining weight. Okay, we have one more. And PTEX is going for the 12 pool. And Hawk is going for the 12. Oh, sorry. The 12 hatch from PTEX and the 12 pool from Hawk. So, uh, great hit from PTEX.
ladies and gentlemen if you enjoy what I'm doing here you can always think about subscribing or following my channel or if you are a little bit crazy you can actually donate a little bit uh, every money goes great right back into the stream for price money uh, transitions and stuff like that okay so Hawk is just playing standard 12 hatch play and it's very very good for P-Tech because the big difference between these two builds oh you should not be you, you will you will lose all your you will lose all your uh, Vita coins if you do it man don't do it okay this is really greedy play from P-Tech don't unfollow and follow again man you will lose all your your Vita coins Oh, this is the greediest shit. Let's see if it works. Oh, why is Hulk moving back? It was only four links and now it's too late. <sighs> really good micro. Okay. This is really good here for PTAC. Okay, it's actually stopped dro uh, droning. Oh, what is this? Why is he not having any on gas here? Oh, Hawk. What is your plan, Hawk? I don't know what is going on here. Okay, we have one sneaky link coming in here. This looks really, really weird from Hawk. Now he's trying to drone up. Okay, P Tech droning up as well. 4100. Oh, this is. Th 300 more mining gas from p -Tech. How will he survive here, Hawk? But Hawk's taking the gas. Let's see if this is enough. Now he's moving inside. Oh, great micro from p -Tech. Why is p -Tech playing the other crazy style that we saw when he has micro like this on his links? Oh, great. Great. And he's moving in now with everything. Let's see. Can he actually... Snipe maybe the spire and it's a GG I believe. Yeah, he's going to snipe the spire. I think everything is just going to end here. Yes. Here go, ladies and gentlemen. Really good play from P Tech. And now PA is coming in with his own mutas and we don't have single muta. GG ladies and gentlemen. Here we see how you should play. That was really, really good. And we will uh, have the transition in three, two, one, go! Yeah, it's a really good uh, play there from P-Tech coming back into it. Just doing a, a great job there. But I'm, I'm a little bit shocked of what we saw there. Yeah, sometimes you are totally right there, Fernum. This is sometimes what happens. 
near, far, wherever you are. I believe that the heart does go on. Once more you open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on and on. Diclegis just subscribed. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's go into the next game, ladies and gentlemen, and it will be on Eclipse. And big thanks for that uh, lovely sub. Two months prime sub, ladies and gentlemen. That's amazing. Oh, now my wife comes. So she will say hi to all of you. Hi there. Hello. Why are you looking so shocked? Shocked? Did you hear me sing? Yes. It was lovely. You can see that one person subscribed after I sang. Oh, we, they can't see you really. Now we need to do that. <laughs> yeah, so I sang and some people left and one sub. That happens like every time I sing, you know, like five to eight people leave the stream and some follows. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's like, uh, what are you saying? Separating the sheep from the goats. Yeah, but you're, you're touching when you're... Do you say touching? In I don't English. know. <laughs> it's moving. When I sing, yeah. People will be moved to tears. Yeah. Or I think from two... tears of pain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's two reasons why they cry. Yeah. Tears of movement or tears yeah. of pain. Yeah, you know, one time mm -hmm. I just had my underwear on and I... Just one time? Yeah, but yeah, in a shirt, of course. And I went to make a uh, flatbread because they thought it was like a huge thing to make a flatbread. <laughs> and now they say that my penis is a snake. They call me baby legs. I don't know what they saw. It's not that big. <laughs> but I said, that's why my wife never left me. <laughs> but it's not that big, you know. Yeah, his third leg, you th they think that I have a huge <laughs> thing there between, between my legs, but I really don't. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. We need to answer the question. Oh, what was the question? But why is the horse yeah, in there? The horse. <laughs> oh, yeah, show the, the horse. The horse was once. Yeah, yeah, let's go horse back to the horse. The horse likes Starcraft, that's why the horse needs to be here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> the horse really likes StarCraft. So the horse is the, a little bit of a mascot. The horse is... Yeah, we don't know the gender of it. We tried to look, but we didn't find anything. No, and it doesn't got a name. No, so no name and no gender. So we just call it horse. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's count down. Do you want to count down? Three, two, one. Because they... The, the sound of this transition is so loud. Okay. Three, two, one, <laughs> go! That, that shit goes up to the red, you know? So they get really scared. <laughs> and some people just wake up kids and stuff, you know? Why? Why yeah, do they have the kids in the same Yes. Thing? One person have a one-year-old in his bed while he's watching. Mm -hmm. And when that sound comes on, it was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our players right now. We have P Tech taking the last game, and he is in the top right hand position. In the bottom left, we have Hawk taking the first game. That was a really boring game. Can they see when you are marking those? Yeah, they see everything I do on this screen. Okay, but why are you doing that? Because uh, it's very Oh, you think I should not? I think you should just hold it. You, you don't need to do actions for me, you know. 
<laughs> okay, both are actually doing the same strategy. We we'll start with the extractor here. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I think I need. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you guys think that it's annoying that I do this? <laughs> because I now it feels so weird because I always do this. Yeah, why? Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys should tell me. Should I like do stuff like this? You know, when when you play, you do it. I think maybe that's why. Why do you know it's best? Take notes. Yeah, yeah, they now they say. Okay, so they are. Okay, good night. Yeah, bye bye. Bye, bye guys. Or ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay, now she left. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so this is a, a little bit different. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not sure. Okay, tomorrow I just have a thing. Uh, Elijah, he will take care of the kid. Mm -hmm. And he will then stay to watch football, soccer with me. Okay. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah. On Wednesday, are you doing something uh, late on Wednesday? No. You are not? Do you want to go to sleep early or are you going to be with me? Because if you're going to sleep early, I can cast one extra time. Because there's another semi finals that I could cast. We can skip it later. Okay, yeah. Um, do you want to say that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my kids haven't fed the fish. Okay, we have a uh, spire coming down. Oh, I'm from Sweden. Okay, this is interesting because it's a bit late from PTEC. But is mine so much more gas? And a big, big welcome, Pommy88, for tuning in here if it's your first time and everything. Uh, uh, true. Pr true. Oh, I'm not sure what I was going to say. True pleasure. I think that was what I wanted to say. Okay, we have 12 links here. We have. Uh, not 12 links here, but let's see what's going to happen. Uh, we see two a little bit different styles. We see two hatchery coming a little bit earlier from PTAC, and we see um, Spire into uh, double hatchery. Almost the same mining. And we will have a bunch of nudists here, so. Uh, let's see, but he doesn't have the the money for it. Let's see if he can get what he wants to do. Okay, he's actually going for uh, pure muta. Sometimes you go for <laughs> oh, big thank you, Pommy. Big thank you for for saying it's personal and stuff. Yeah. Okay, we let's see if he can get this. But I'm a little bit worried about Hawk now. Okay, he kills the Overlord. And uh, that's a huge thing. And we have a... Uh, might be a good timing here. Okay, there is... Let's see, it's 6 Muta. Again, six Muta, but we have some Scourge as well. Oh, he should not. Oh, that was so close to get into the moving shots here. But Hawk is actually... Oh, Hawk, why did he engage there? Oh, very good micro from uh, both of these players. But Hawk is doing a great micro job here. I'm not really sure who's ahead. Oh, it's P-Tech. It's ahead, but now two more Mutas coming in here. 
Oh, will Hulk actually do this? Oh, what a great micro fight from both of these players. That's actually so much harder than what you believe here. And we will have a base coming down here from p -Tech. And let's see if he can snipe the drone. Okay, he, he moved out a little bit earlier than that. Uh, no upgrades from none of them. So they are very in tune here, very in line. We have five mutas, we have four mutas and two scourge. But we are seeing no uh, expansion from Hawk, and that puts him a little bit on a on the clock here. Sometimes you don't. Oh, there is no speed on Hawk's units, but he can't really attack before he gets everything that. So it's just four. He needs all the mutas before the attack comes in here. Maybe he can snap a little bit of drones and try to to punish it. But there are a bit more units here. Oh, that was so important. But the big problem for him was that he attacked uh, the same uh, muta with the two scourge if he had split them he could have won but now if he goes in here it's all over because it's seven muta against five. Oh, and now it's four and i think that is the beginning of the end for hope hope doing a great micro battle though but still now he's losing everything here and this will be gg because he can just go over and kill him after this and he's not having the uh, extra base and so on so that was a big mistake, he should have gone back or, or tried to do something else with that attack. Now we see P-Tech on 8. Still no upgrades. Oh, Hawk just left. No GG. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, I can just tell you what this means. It means two things. First of all, we will have another transition. And it will come soon. And the clan war is all over because CVT took the win here. So let's go for the transition. 3, 2, 1, oh, let's go. Yeah, and here we go. CVT wins this semi final with 3, 2, 1. It's CVT 3, NAS 1. We will, of course, show the 2 on 2 uh, because I am a friendly person like that. So you will be able to see the the two on two, but uh, it's not meaning anything here now uh, because it's all over already. And uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure why he did that engage in the end. There, I thought he had a, a great position after killing him and so on and so forth. But yeah, sometimes that is what happens. You just go in, you try to do stuff. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will now get into our next game here. Uh, and that will be the last game for them, ladies and gentlemen. It will be the 2 on 2, and it will be Izu Lama versus. Uh, whip and newblish so it's a little bit different uh, it, it will be it, it's not the same that we've seen before oh vacation where are you going dig leggies what are you looking for do you need to charge I think there is a charger somewhere. They, the kids taking it all the time. I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, look at the glitch. Yeah, he's taking his wife to a nice hotel and spa. Isn't that nice? Go to a hotel and spa. Shouldn't we do that? Yeah. No? Yeah, we should go to a spa. I will set up a different tipping account for you guys to take my wife to a spa. I don't have the money for that shit. 
I um, need all the money to, to buy transitions. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the next game. It will be on Polypoid, and it's the 2 on 2. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's 3, 2, 1. Oh, and here comes the transition. And let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. We have in the top right hand position Izu and in the and he's playing with the Protoss Lama. And in the top right hand we have Whip playing Zerg with Nooblish. And let's do this. Okay, so actually Whip is a Terran player, but in two and two he's going to play uh, He's going to play Zerg, so it's a PVC PVC. Okay, let's see. We have an Overlord from Izu. We have an Overlord from Whip. And let's see if it's a one gate or two gate. I think it's it's normal to have a two gate here. Uh, sometimes you see the nine pool into one gate goon. Uh, that can be a great combo in the early game, but usually you are not seeing that. We have one gate, no um, scout, and one gate with scout. So that is a little bit different. Okay, we have the over pool. Uh, I think no it's a, just a 12 pool we have gas start with Izu and then Izu's hitting the uh, pool so starts starting with gas so I'm not really sure what this is it's not a huge difference but it's a pool start so they're not getting into the hatch replay Okay, it's two gate, two gate, and let's see if there will be some pressures. The next thing to, to notice if if they go for speed first or if they go for uh, lapas. That's the next thing to like look for. Let's see speed first and lair first. So Whip going into uh, Lair and Izu going into Speed and Lair because uh, the uh, gas mining there. It started with gas so it's actually a little bit ahead in gas. Almost 100 extra gas. Oh not really. Oh yeah almost 100. Yeah so that's good for him. Okay, now we see a little bit of a pressure coming in. We we have uh, Lama going into a great kill. Okay, and now I, I'm I'm a bit afraid here for Whip because now the Lynx comes in. Oh, the Lynx go back. I thought it would just go in there and try, try to attack. good catching and Isu didn't lose a single ling against that big attack and now we see Spire coming in at the same time for both of these players the gas count is looking so good for Izu oh catching so many lings here and he is in a huge bit of problem here whip Oh, but this is not good for our Zerg players losing a bunch of, of drone series and Izu trying to uh, attack that with just uh, plowing through with drones, but it's not working out great. Here we have uh, one more attack, so attacks on both positions, but we can see him at five probes here. 
And now a big attack coming in. He's actually denying the Spire. I think that they really need to get more damage done, like killing Sankas and stuff. Okay, let's see if they can do it. It's a really great position for the drone pull here. Oh, killing the sunken here. Isu is alive, but he is very, very low here. But now, look at this play from Llama. Llama just killing everything here. And what we see is Nublish trying to kill um, Izu instead, but Izu just making a sunken. Maybe it's a little interesting position though. And here we actually see that he's denying so much time here. The both Zergs are really in a bad spot, but I don't think this attack will be uh, good for, uh, for them. But yeah, this looks good though. Uh, two goons coming as well and snapping up some stuff. But there are one sunken and... Uh, some goons here, let's see. Thank you for the follow, Akr Zedi. And let's see, okay, it's not going to be goons from Llama, it's going to be maybe speed. Okay, we have a bunch of links now, and he actually just surrounds the goons and killing them. Very, very good, but we can actually see if we look at the Supply map here, it's 5 to 6, 26, 26. Supply is very, very even here. So both, all of all of them are playing quite similar. Putting pressure on the serves here. But now it can be tremendously hard for... For Whip to, to stay alive here once again. He's not having a sunken. And at the same time, as we see this big attack, we have 5 goons coming in. And this is one of the nicest feelings in the game I believe to to have a big number of goons and mag microing against the uh, links oh but he's actually not taking the uh, hurt ones back and now we see this happening at the same time okay the sunken is dead now so now we can actually start to go behind the mineral lines and deny mining forever uh, let's see we have some sealots here we have uh, speed coming in, but speed is not there. And he will be able to kill all these drones. And now Izu's drone count is at one, but at the same time, we see what's going on in here. Okay, he's not really migrating this llama, so llama's sailor will die, and we still have four units. Izu doesn't have any money. So Izu is broke. We have mass goons. So many goons out right now for uh, for Nublish. But we have so much speed sailors as well. So let's see here we have three speed sailors coming in. And Llama is having a better record on me. Okay, he's starting to snipe drones though. Oh, but this is an overwhelming amount of goons. But actually, some of the drones fucked up the micro there. But he's going to kill all of this. Hi there, Akra ZG. So, big thanks for the follow, man. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. I think this is over but maybe he wants to try to get some damage done we have a small attack coming in here maybe he needs to go in and, and snipe the cannon and then go in with the dt the dt comes after the cannon so this might be uh, really really hurtful for him and the dt comes in let's see can they actually win this they need to snipe the observatorium maybe he doesn't want to do that he wants to start some uh, probes instead and we have an attack coming in here but three dt's will just clean everything up the observer has not been started why is the observer not been started but we have an overload here he should not go and stand while their overload is there oh 
Okay, he's actually trying to catch that off. Lower my hand. He got four already. Will they try to look for it? Or maybe it thinks they killed it. Oh, oh more DJs just coming in, but they're not doing anything. Okay, one more DJs coming in, and DJs are so sneaky. And look, now it's down to 21, but Zerg is a big time alive here. So it's actually a two against one with uh, Nexus already been taken. So I still think that Nas is in the better position. I don't just think so, that's fact. Let's stick to the facts. They are in a tremendously good position here. The plus one will be hitting, but how can they actually engage here? He needed to be killing the uh, the serve if he was going to have a chance. And the Nexus is not really done. The probe car is growing slowly but surely together. Nublis on three gate, good style. Uh, that can be a problem if we see some storms and stuff. Storm drop will get in here maybe. And uh, one more problem though is what do you do against the mass muter style coming in? And now let's see if he can just uh, deny this uh, Nublis and win the game with it. Oh, this attack is a little bit ambitious. Oh no 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 not morphing it in there man Oh it is morphing one more I thought he needed to get some storms there as well Okay everything just goes to shit for Llama So GG ladies and gentlemen GG And Team Nas takes game number one there ladies and gentlemen And we are getting in to the next game and uh, we we know it's already over but maybe maybe Nas can uh, go down 3-2 instead of 4-1 it looks so much better if that was going to happen you don't want to be outplayed like 4-1 uh, is so let's see okay ladies and gentlemen the next match will be on revolver and let's hit that uh, button ladies and gentlemen and let's uh, see what we got so right now ladies we are at 15 subs it's amazing five more and we will hit that five more and we will hit everything Okay, we have in the top left hand position we have Nublis playing Protoss from uh, Clan Nas. In the top right hand position we have Whip playing Zerg instead of his main race Terran. And in the bottom right hand position we have Llama and in the bottom left hand position we have uh, Maybe you can go into transitions and set transition audio monitor to off. Let's see. Monitor and set, let's see, monitor, monitor to audio monitor to off. Yeah, I can do that. I hope it won't be any sound now then. Okay, we have a uh, nine pool speed build from uh, Izu. We have over pool from Whip. Oh, sorry, it was an over pool from uh, Izu. And a uh, 12 pool looks like from Whip.
Okay, so we have some links coming in from Izu. Speed's not done yet. Let's see if he wants to go for speed. Yeah, he wants to go for speed, not lair. And uh, from whip we see uh, later speed, but links at the same time almost, so... Yeah, very similar. We can see on the su uh, supply chart there. It's great. Okay, they will pressure him with Sealot and some links and stuff. Oh, thank you, Fami. Oh, catching a drone there. Oh, great micro. Really, really great from Whip here. Oh, what a great hold. But no, it comes more. And now the beginning of the hurt comes in. Still good micro from Whip. Okay, two links coming in here. Let's see. Oh, really, really great microing here from uh, Whip. Six hundred and seventy-six uh, followers right now, so we are actually getting up to the incredible number of seven hundred, and that would be just crazy. Okay, we see there's the pressure continuing, but one thing that I can't uh, figure out is why we don't see. Uh, Nooblish sending everything when he saw the pressure being on. Because now look look what we see here. More and more coming in. Oh I think this might be really bad. We have one sunken from Izu though, but maybe he needs one more sunken. And yeah, this is too much to hold for, uh, for whip. But I think, yeah, this will this will be hold here for for uh, Izu. So Izu won't die against that when he's got a one sunken. So what you when you when you notice that type of pressure that we're seeing here, what you want to do is help your your ally with sealots. Uh, just a stream of sealots. Can't let a Zerg play like that. Oh, great! Micring here, but now every single sealot just dying slowly but surely. Oh, he's not controlling it well here, Nooblish. So Nooblish actually let his friend die a little bit too hard there. Yeah, you can actually see Whip have, having nothing and no drones and uh, no, no nothing. GG, they just give up. They they know it's two against one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So the score right now is one one, and we will have the decider of the two on two. And uh, let's go for it, ladies. And gentlemen. So we will have a, a last two on two, and that will be the last game of the evening. Uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very thankful for for all of you for watching and sharing with me and uh, making my day uh, great. Uh, it's very boring to cast if no one talks, and you guys have been amazing in that perspective. You you've been here, you talked, you you like being part of this stream and my community that I'm trying to to build a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm really trying to yeah like uh, someone said here like uh, Pompey Pommy 88 said that I'm really trying to get uh, a personal touch of it I I'm really trying to do that uh, I can just say uh, two things before we end here if you uh, want to uh, I would be very very pleased if you wanted to follow me on discord uh, it's of course for free and 
just help me with stuff uh, and, and I want to grow on, on um, Discord. So that's one thing. The next thing is that we are going to have a big freaky, freaky show match here. It will be Cross vs Dragon. Uh, best of uh, 9. And it will be uh, Caster and Observer it will be Vir. Uh, it will be uh, commentating. It will be dig to. Let's see how the heck he is spelling his shit. Uh, two sec. Dig to, yeah. Dig to and uh, and doc. Uh, doc holiday TV. And it will be on the 15th of April. Time will be 22.37. So spread that, ladies and gentlemen. You have it in the chat. So Cross vs. Dragon, best of nine. Caster and Observer will be Veer. Commentating will be Digty and Dark Holiday because they are Canadians and... Uh, I think some of them, some maybe are from uh, USA and stuff, so they, their English is a little bit better than mine. And we also have, uh, we also then have, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the nice time and everything. So I will just concentrate on the graphics and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate it if you want to type that into your calendars. I think that will be great. It's about uh, it's twenty-five uh, dollar show match, so it's a little bit of money at stake. It's not the big ones because I don't have that type of budget. So for me, twenty-five dollars is great. Uh, we will have that uh, on the price money. So uh, every map you win, you get two dollars, and to win the whole thing, you will get an additional seven. So if you win five. Uh, you will get the seven dollars so it's the best of nine and all games will be played no matter what and the maps are coming up uh, we are not having all the maps done yet okay ladies and gentlemen let's get into the last game of the evening here uh, and uh, yeah as i said before i'm really thankful for pommy for his lovely words <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have in the uh, 12 o'clock position, Nooblish playing with his Serg friend, Whip. And we have uh, Llama in the uh, top right hand position, in the bottom left hand position, we have Izu. And uh, as many people pointed out, Izu is a really solid, good 2 on 2 player. Nublish is also a 2 on 2 player, but he's not really used to playing with Whip, he's playing with other people usually. Okay, we can see that the Overlords will do the Overlord kiss here. Yeah, he will go for it. it oh, maybe it was a little bit of a dodge here from from Whip. He didn't really want to engage in the, in the lovemaking there, so he just take it away. But a no is a no. We should respect that, ladies and gentlemen. So we could see that uh, Izu's overlord wanted to be a little bit aggressive in the sexual sense, but he um, he respected when uh, Whip uh, dodged him a little bit there. So no sexual harassment. Okay, we have an overpool coming in, and we have uh, no pool coming in here from Izu right now, and we have actually an extractor start from Izu and I, this is actually a great thing when you know what's happening what you want is to delay everything because it will give you better echo so I'm not really sure why you go for an over pool when you are at this, these type of positions because you know exactly what's going to happen and then you, you just want to drone up and, and take advantage of knowing everything uh, this is not Lost Temple this is Python Lost Temple is not really played anymore because it's yeah, it's not really a doable map. We have a uh, two quicker gate here from Llama, and you can actually see Llama r likes this 9-10 style. 
because we they can pressure so I, I believe what's going to happen is they're going to pressure the living shit out of whip once again maybe whip this time should uh, put a sunken down a little bit earlier than what we've seen before Yeah, I know. Uh, maybe you're an old schooler. We all know Lost Temple, of course. Uh, I've been, uh, I've been playing a lot of Lost Temple as well, but it's not really a good map. And nowadays, when people go for expand, like in uh, PVC uh, and so on, it's not really doable because the the, the main can't be be. Uh, Nicely, nicely uh, walled and stuff like that. Okay, so we see some pressure coming in here, and they're going to pressure Protoss this time. Uh, that's actually interesting. They don't want to go to pressure uh, the Zerg, like what we've seen uh, every other game. Uh, but it's a bit uh, hard to pressure uh, Protoss there. Okay. Oh, he actually catched uh, one sealer, but lost one at uh, his own. And now we see whip. Okay, look at this. It's so hard. He needs to pull probes. When you see stuff at your door in 2 on 2, pull probes directly. Never wait. And I think actually, yeah, this is the beginning of the end, looks like. As I said, you need to pull your probes right away. You don't want to, to wait. It snowballed so fast if they get in. But if you have two sealots and two probes behind that, the, the damage is enormous. But yeah, you can see Nooblish doing a great job still. But now more sealers coming in here, but also more links. He's saving up to something here, Izu. Maybe he wants to take another hatchery. So they are actually taking a little bit slow here with the uh, with the big attack. Okay, Izu is miss timing this a little bit because he's three he would have been able to just deny a little bit and make an extra hatchery but we will see mutas from both these players okay he haven't taken the overload away now we see even more links coming in here where is the okay we just have a bunch of links and stuff oh really great now he's having five so he can hold but there is so many links that he can actually be aggressive with. Nooblish are, are uh, not that low on pro count though, but this is a really good harassment. Okay, we have some fighting going on as well. Oh, what a great moving shot! Oh, whip! Just losing straight up a bunch of units. And more attacking going on in uh, his base is just losing probe after probe after probe and pulling them and so on. And the problem is that if he goes to help with his mutas, he will die. And now they denied uh, all the pylons so he couldn't uh, get more shit on. And we are down to 16 probes. What a great pressure build. We can see that Nooblish is trying desperately to hang on. And now the Mutus is going away because he wants to help him. And straight up he comes in and going to try to snipe some shit. One drone only. So that, was a, that wasn't really good. And he's coming back with his Mutus now. And everything is cleaned up here from Nooblish, and now Nooblish moving up with five units. Oh, but what we see here is actually really good counter by him. Okay, but only one cannon. We 
have uh, Izu sniping one more from Yuta. Izu doing a great job here against Whip. But he's still on one hatch. I think he could take another. Okay, now we see some uh, sealots coming in here. Go to snipe some drones. This is great. But there are so, so many mutas. Oh, the mutas are getting, killing the Corsair. But now everything will die because of the moving shots. Oh. Izu with the moving shots they're making a great uh, play okay now Izu with his healthy mute account will just kill that he lost a bunch of drones though but still in a great position and now he can start to get into snipe some uh, uh, drones maybe but there are some uh, spores but if we look at this uh, whole thing we can actually see that CVT is doing a great job and it, it looks right now like they're going in to, to win with 4-1 this clan war here. Okay, we actually see an extra creep colony coming in here. I don't really know why. Uh, will he also go for something? Oh, the drone come from Izu is way low. Okay, he realized that he couldn't get in. Now we have the Mutas out. We'll try to engage the sea lots. No speed whatsoever on that. Okay, he's actually going to engage the mutas instead of like some on drones. Sometimes you just want to go for the drone snipes uh, when you see the army not there. It's only one sp uh, spore. If you just control your mutas, you, you can actually uh, do some damage against one spore. Oh, great micro in here. And they actually go in two days here. They, they don't really care about the cannon here. But he should not stay in that cannon shooting. Oh, look at Isu losing so many. And right now, Whip's taking a big muta lead. Did everything just switch there? Now, I believe Whip can just attack. Yeah, now they can go for a big attack in Surge. Uh, base here. Isu overextended a little bit there and now he is in big big trouble. But now Isu is doing great micro uh, work here but now we have Corsairs coming in as well. Oh look how they micro in this. They are really good. Oh this is this is another this is on, a, on another level, ladies and gentlemen. You, you should realize how freakishly hard that is, what they've done there. Okay, but actually they can engage now. Okay, we have a Corsair coming in here from uh, uh, Lama to help Iz Izu. And Lama is uh, taking an expansion, so that's very good. Formula, two scourge, DT, but we have cannon, so this DT will not do that much. We have cannon, we have a bunch of cannons actually, and we also have an overlord. So, but he will maybe be able to deny a little bit of a suspension timing here. Okay, what we now see from Llama is uh, an Archon. Maybe they can go for some type of pressure. He's just moving straight in with the Archon. Oh, but what a good micro there. Because we know the range of the Archon is, is one less than the range of the Muta. Okay, look at this big attack here. Great micro from uh, Izu once again. Now we have some Corsairs. And this is so great to have the Star Dark on there. 
so many times that I thought they easily just made up die because of the overwhelming uh, air uh, advantage, but coming out of it, one or two Corsairs is coming in there and, and really saving everything, so it's fascinating to see that it's so small a kind of stuff going on. I don't think I've eaten enough today. I didn't eat lunch. I didn't have anything at home, so I didn't. I just said fuck it, and I didn't eat lunch. Now I feel like I should have eaten lunch. So my advice to you, ladies and gentlemen, eat lunch. You can actually see Isu is never afraid to engage. It's crazy. Isu has uh, like very hard mutants, but he's like, oh fuck it, I'm going in. And he's doing a great job with the micring, so yeah. I'm I'm impressed by Easy in this game. Okay, we see that Sir is trying to take some type of ninja base. And the uh, double expansion was what he wanted to do. Big amount of mutas coming in. But instead of okay now they are moving in here. There are two sanctions only, so maybe this will work. And this is a bunch of sealers coming in, trying to to hurt the uh, Protoss. Sorry, the surge. Simply. Oh, but this is an amazing attack. Let's see this attack now. Okay, he's making some extra sanctions, trying to just hold. And if he can just target the Archon as he should with his, yeah you can see him targeting with every sunken, every sunken just attacking the Archon. And now so he killed it and he can just move straight in, kill those Corsairs and be able to uh, get rid of the sea logs and at the same time Lama is just killing his uh, wife. Watching the best with whites. Yeah, and uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the beginning of the end of the game. I think this should just be GG. He didn't lose all his drones, so he can still just drone up once again. But the other person, Whip, is just dead. Uh, yeah, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, very very well played. 24 kills from the Archon. The Archon should be having a medal for his uh, stuff that he did. After the game they are going to get him on a pedestal and say you are an amazing player. Whip is out. Look at his muted micro. DT is coming in, but two DTs on the ramp already. He won't do anything with those. Yeah, and look at this. They will just die, and I believe after they die, it will be just bye bye. At the same time, Izu is in there making all kinds of stuff happening. Okay, now we have uh, both of the DTs are killed, no more Corsairs, just a small amount of units from New Bleach, he's at 66 supply, so double the supply for uh, Lama almost. So actually CVT takes that game ladies and gentlemen and it's all over we have CVT winning that game as well 
So CBT actually taking the lead here, 4-1. Big, big stuff happening here. Okay, let's go into it. Uh, first of all, we had Boa versus Ju, and I think just Boa played so, so well. They were great games, but Boa was uh, one level higher than what we saw from Zoom. And we, uh, sorry, what we saw from Ju. And Zoom versus Whip was also like that was not one level higher that was like two or three levels higher than Zoom Whip just outplayed him in two games and I, I don't think so did yeah Zoom actually had nothing uh, against Whip there so and then DeWalt versus Dragon that could have gone uh, some games could have gone to Dragon there it was quite close uh, it was small shit happening uh, we had really good games there and then P-Tech versus Hawk uh, the first game was just Hawk winning easily the second game was a Ling uh, flood game and the third game was really really even and the Hawk did just over engage a little bit but very very good games all of it and then we have the CBT versus NAS uh, CBT were more aggressive every game and, and uh, uh, especially the Protoss player, it was PVC, PVC. So I think that the little more aggressive team won there. Uh, I don't. I think they played more as a team than Nas did. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think that Whip and Whiplish, Nublish, sorry, Whip and Nublish have played that much together. So maybe that was the thing. Okay, so if you look at the chat right now. Cross versus Dragon, and I can just take this once again and put it in for new viewers. Uh, this is the show match that will be happening uh, next week on Friday. We will have Cross versus Dragon, Best of Nine, uh, Caster and Observer Vid commentating, Dig T and Doc Holiday, and dates are 15th of April, and it will be on 2230 set. So please, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Put that in your calendar it will be very uh, appreciative of me if you wanted to tune in for that and on Thursday I'm going to cast uh, on uh, Trovo uh, and I'm going to comment on Trovo with uh, zero it will be uh, 20 uh, sorry 2030 set uh, it will be the round of um, I think of the round of eight in uh, yeah the round of eight in Goosely BSL. So please tune into that on Trovo on Thursday, and next uh, Monday we will have the final of the BBCL or maybe the semi-final, the second semi-finals. I'm not really sure how to do it exactly, but some t something will happen. Maybe. I will try to get an extra cost in like on Wednesday to have the second semi-finals but it depends a little bit of what wifey says about it so ladies and gentlemen GG and uh, it was lovely here. if you're still here and you hadn't pressed that follow button you can do it uh, before I end here well, let's go for some type of raid okay the, let's see who's on and who, was, who we will raid uh, before we end, -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. oh do, 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 do. oh, there's not. Uh, I'm actually the biggest right now, but we have Darkish, so may. But he's he's a Russian dude. Uh, thank you, Pommy. We have Adnap TV. We have a Rusty F to B rank letter. Yeah, have a good night, you too. Okay, let's go for Rusty. Uh, let's go to raid Rusty. He's a small streamer and he's a nice dude. So let's go raid Rusty. I think he will be very pleased. Have a good night to you too, Pommy, and I hope to see you uh, next Monday or on Thursday.